Hello everybody, I'm Thomas and welcome to the ninth video of this series in which I'll be playing through the Hadrian's Wall solo campaign. Today, I will be reattempting fort number four, Vindabawa. As you can see, I have two civilians here and that's because I did a bit of research on this fort and it seems like it's a notoriously hard fort. And also seems like without the bonus from the last fort, fort number three, it might be really tough to beat this. So I really wanted to record all my attempts for the series, but realistically, I don't think that's gonna be possible. So I went back, I'll post a screenshot. I at least took a picture of the, the game, but I went back and attempted Fort number three a few times. I think it was on my second attempt that I was able to beat it with the bonus. So now this time I will be starting with three civilians, which should be a nice little bonus. With that out of the way, let's just go ahead and get started. See what my supply card is for year one. Pretty nice supply there. Then I will draw two cards from over here. So I got total gladiator strength or final disdain. Cool. I'll definitely go with final disdain. That's a good good quest to have. Uh, something I'm gonna go, go for anyway. And this also I don't really like. And that gives me a servant and a resource. Based on my board, I get an extra resource. And with that, we're on our way with your number one. As you could see, like before, I went ahead and circled all the buildings that have the extra resource cost, just so I don't forget. But let's go just send a builder onto the fort just to get things started and build out the fort a bit with sending a uh, spending a resource on the wall to get another civilian. Then I think I will spend three civilians on the trader's track to get me a servant. Oops. Fill in that spot and get me a builder. The main things I want to try to focus on for this year is getting the hotel built and the precinct built. So I'm going to just go ahead and build the precinct. That would cost me that civilian, that servant, and a resource. But since I'm level three, I can do this. So I'll get a bit of piety. I will get a, a resource production over there. And I will also get a resource. Boom. So I'll use one soldier for the wall. So we seem to get one cohort. I'll start with the center one this time. Now the issue is I could spend another builder on the fort. If I want to build the hotel, I would still need a builder. So I need to spend my soldier on the fort to get the hotel built. I don't see any other option though. I guess maybe I could use those two for a form, but I won't use those for mining and foresting. Yeah, I'll send the uh, the soldier out on the fort. That'll get me to level two. Then I can spend my builder, a servant, and two resources on the small hotel. That'll immediately get me a civilian back. Okay, I'll spend the civilian on the priest track. I'm getting a servant, spend both servants to do some mining and foresting. And that will get me a resource and some resource production. Then I'll spend both resources on the wall, which will get me a civilian back, which I will spend on this track to get me a builder and go ahead and immediately spend that builder on the fort which will get me a civilian back to do something with. Okay, so I can get another cohort filled in, thankfully. Uh, use that civilian on the bottom track. That'll get me a resource, and then I can use that on the wall, which will get me a bit of renown. And I can fill in another cohort. I will go with the right one. Then that's it for year number one. Only one pick will be attacking, but it's probably going to be left. It's not, it's right. So we're off to a pretty good start. I get one Valor for that. Nothing crazy, but at least I'm not starting with some disdain. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna grab two new rival cards here and then we'll see what my supply is for this year. So there's my supplies. So I'll put that back and we draw two cards from over here. So my options for this year are either completed wall sections, sorry, wall guard sections or collected goods. I definitely like the wall guard, so I will go with that one. I've been liking the pairings of these. So far, I've, those are like my two least favorite quests that have been gone through so far, so I'm not gonna be like forced to take those. Because if it was like collected goods and gladiator strength, I'd be in trouble. 
Got those extra. I get three resources. Awesome. And then, of course, my extra civilian from my small hotel. We're on our way with year number two. So I think one thing I will probably need to be able to do the additional challenge for this fort of getting to 20, at least on two tracks, is a road. A small road, probably at some point. So the year, we're currently in year number two. I think I'd like to try to build a workshop this year, maybe a small gardens, and then hopefully build a road next year along with a medium greenery. I'm trying to like plan out my buildings. Um, the temples, I don't really know if I want to do. As long as I keep up with my cohorts, I may not really need the temples, and especially if I don't take the temple path card up top that I don't really need to focus on. I like them, but they cost a lot of resources to get going. So it's a trade-off for sure. Okay, let's just spend a builder on the fort. That'll get me to infrastructure level three. And then I can spend four resources to build a small workshop. Awesome. Now I got an extra builder, which I love to have. Um, I don't know what I will do with them. I might send them out on the wall guard, but I'm not for sure yet. I only have one soldier, so I'm trying to save them unless I get another soldier somehow with like my civilians, though. Probably planning on sending most of my civilians down the priest track so I can maybe build a small gardens this year. That'd be kind of cool. That would use up all my resources though. And I need to try to get some more cohorts down this year. So I think that should be my focus maybe. Now that I at least have the small workshop built, maybe I'll wait a year on the gardens. I mean, I think the road's probably more important than the garden because that compounds, you know, the gardens, not so much. So I'll use a builder on the fort. I definitely want to get that at least going a little bit more. And I think I'll use one more builder on the fort. I don't think I'm gonna build any more buildings, at least this year. Maybe that's a bad idea, but I already got the workshop built, so I mainly want to then spend these two civilians down here. Ooh, that's tough. I could go on either track, because I want a soldier, and I could go on either track right now. Um, it's a tough decision. Because, I mean, this track is good. I, I definitely will like to build the courthouse if I can, the baths if I need to, but so far I'm sitting okay, and if I really focus on my cohorts, should be all right. I do like scouting. I don't really like the diplomats, especially they're pretty pricey with the resources, so I don't know. I'll go down this track. That'll get me a soldier, which then I'll spend on the wall guard. Get me a bit of discipline. Then I can, well, I can spend this other soldier to, on the training grounds and send them out on the wall guard. And that'll get me another cohort. So I at least now have one cohort on each space, which is semi reassuring. Okay, this soldier, the main reason I saved them is because I wanted to scout. And I think that's what I'll do, but I can't scout yet. So I'll spend a civilian on this bottom track now that I'm two, I can spend this to scout somewhere. I mean, I'd like to get two resources, but I can't with this shape. I'm not paying for more picks to attack, so um, I'll just grab a resource and a servant. Because then I can spend three resources on my wall and get a civilian. And I can fill in another cohort space, which I'll definitely go with center for now. I need to figure out what I want to do with these. So I do want to build the gardens at some point. So I'll use this to progress down the priest track a little bit. And then use these two servants to do some mining and foresting. Won't get me anything, but I'll at least be ready for whenever I build the medium granary next year. So that's it for year two. Two picks will be attacking. As long as they don't attack the left or right twice, I'll be all right. So we got right, so just don't be right again. And it's center. All right, these are going okay. I'm not gonna jinx myself yet, but so far that's, that's another two Valor I will get. And I will have now a soldier to start for this year, which is always appreciated. Get some new rival cards that I will just ignore down there and see what my supply is for this year. All right, so I'll set that over there. Grab two of my cards for my path card, so either resource production or completed citizen tracks. It's a tough one. They're both decent options. Resource production, I feel like, is a little bit easier to get, especially with at least getting two points worth. Um, citizen tracks, I don't know. If I do good, I might be able to get all of them, but 
I'll go with the res I'll go citizen tracks. I'll take a bit of a gamble and try to focus that a little bit more. Those are both decent uh, cards to have. And this gives me an extra servant and a resource. And because of my board, I get three resources. Then I have my small hotel, which gives me my civilian and my small workshop, which gives me my builder. We're on our way with year three. So I think first things first, I'm going to build the medium granary because it needs done at some point. And I'll just go ahead and do it. So medium granary is built. I'll spend a civilian on this track to get a bit of discipline to get a builder. And I'll use that builder on the fort, which will get me a civilian back. I'll use a civilian to go down this track to get me another builder and go down the fort some more. Mainly that puts me at infrastructure level four, and then I can spend two servants, a builder, and two resources to build a small road. We'll see if this pays off. I can get discipline or piety. I'll definitely go for discipline. Discipline and Valor are going to be the two I'm mainly focusing on, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm trying to get the best course of action here. So I'll spend a civilian on the priest track, and that'll get me a servant, which I will spend to do mining and foresting. And that will get me a uh, resource production and a resource. Then I will send this soldier to the wall guard. I will use this civilian on this track to get me a soldier, which I'll send on the wall guard, which will get me a bit of discipline. I'll then spend these two resources on the wall. First will get me a little bit of renown, and the next one will get me a civilian. Which I could do the classic, spend a civilian on this track to get a little bit of renown, which will get me a civilian back. It's a new year, so I can do the training grounds again, which I will. I can fill in another cohort. I will, they're all the same left or right. Just rolled a dice to randomly pick. So it's right, it will be. Then I don't know what to do. So I can use that soldier to do a bit of scouting and then just build that right there, which will get me two resources, which then I can use on my sippy. And then finally, I can spend this civilian on the bottom patrician's track, which will get me a resource, which I can spend on my sippy, get me a cohort I can fill in, and I'll be able to fill in the left one now. Now I got two, two, and two. So I'm sitting, I think, pretty good, but we'll see. Four picks are attacking. They could all attack the same side. Who knows? Sometimes they're random and wacky like that. So like I said, two, two, and two. We'll see how this goes. Right. Center. Okay. <laughs> right. Just don't be right again. Gosh dang it. Okay, one finally broke through. And I don't have any favor to, to absorb that, so I will be taking a disdain. That's unfortunate, but um, it happens. I'll get a bit of Valor, because I still blocked some. Put those off to the side, get some new rival cards to ignore and see what my supply is for this year. All right, that goes over there. Let me grab my two cards to see what I got. So either completed cohorts, which is probably what I wanna do, or constructed landmarks, one I don't wanna do. So that is awesome. This one gives me two resources. Those could not be better quest cards to come up together. So I will grab two resources, put those there. And then my resource production gives me four. All right, so I got my resources since I have a small hotel get a civilian, the workshop gets me a builder. Then I have my road. Um, I could fill in any slot. Like I said, I'm focusing Valor and Discipline. If I did fill in Discipline, it would give me a builder to use this turn, but I don't know, they are pretty close. So I guess I could get, I will fill in Discipline, sure. And get an extra builder for this round, sure. So we're on our way with year four. Goals for this year. Um, so I need to focus on completed cohorts. I really need to keep the fort moving. The only thing I really want to build is probably the small gardens. Oh, this year I should build the courthouse too. Shoot. Which I'm already at that level. So I could. And I have everything I need. So I could. Sure, I'll do it. So I'll spend a civilian 
on this track, which will give me a bit of discipline. Maybe I should have put that as Valor. Oh well. And then I will spend two servants, a builder. What is it? It's three resources. That's pretty brutal, but the courthouse I think is worth it. Something I go for pretty much every game. Um, because now that I'm level six, that's one thing I shot for, and it's year four. I can only use it once per year, so if, as long as I get it up by year four, I can use it every year and get its full use, as long as I'm also progressing down this track. And yeah, just, you can get a servant and also swap that out for a builder and some other things. So I, the courthouse is really useful. Yeah, at this point, I'll spend a civilian to go down the priest track, which will get me a little bit of piety. And then now that I'm level four, I can spend a builder, a servant, and two resources to build the small gardens. So first that'll get me a little bit of piety, which does get me a servant. And then what else do I get? I go down the trader's track, which doesn't get me anything. The performer's track, which does get me a builder. Awesome. And then the priest track, which does get me a servant. And that was the small gardens. So cool, I got the courthouse and the small gardens built. I have the small road up already. I just need to think, I need to keep going down the four and try to get my cohort situation figured out. So as long as I don't have to build the baths, I should be good. So I just need to like avoid any disdain. Maybe build a temple. I don't think I want to build a temple because like I said, it's at least two resources to build a small temple. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Cause that maybe just the small temple would be worth it as that backup, but it's cheaper than building the baths, that's for sure. I guess that's an interesting way to look at it. Yeah, comparing the temples to the baths. Because, yeah, it would take me at least three resources plus one, four resources to build that. And it would cost me only two to build the small one. Three, it would cost me five to build both of these resource-wise. So, hmm. So I will use a builder on the wall guard. Or on the training grounds. Yes, I can send him out on the wall guard. Just because I can only do that once per year, so I might as well do that uh, pretty much as often as I can. I know I need to be progressing down the fort, but I feel like soldiers are in shorter supply, especially because I have my workshop. So, and as I have the wall guard section card up there. So I do want to be progressing down the wall guard when I can, but I need to get the fort going so I can also try to get some more cohorts filled in for this year. So yeah, I'll go ahead and spend both of these builders on the wall. The first one will get me a civilian. And the next one just gets me to infrastructure level five. I will then spend two resources on the wall. I can fill in that empty space and then that will get me a bit of renown and another cohort to fill in. I'll go with the left one. They're all at two, so that's pretty nice. And that, that one's at three. I get a bit of discipline for that. And I need to figure out what I would need to do next because I got some options. I mean, I can, hmm. I don't think I want to scout with them, so I'll just use them on the wall guard. They'll get me a bit of discipline, which will get me a builder back, and I'll immediately use them on the wall to get me a civilian. And then I'll use at least this civilian on this track to get me a soldier, which I'll definitely use on the wall guard to get me another cohort. At this point, it's the same if I go middle or right, so I'll go middle and get some discipline. I will then spend both of these civilians on the priest track. The first one will get me a little bit of piety. The next will get me a servant. And then I'll go ahead and spend that servant along with those two on the mining and foresting. And that'll get me some resource production and an extra resource to do maybe nothing with. I guess I can use it on my sippy. Yeah, I could use it on my sippy. And that would get me a civilian. Can I get, ooh, I can use the civilian on the trader's track to get a resource to put on my, oh, I can't put it on my sippy. I'm not built out far enough. Shoot. Okay, well, let me get the resource anyway, because I did it, but I got a little ahead of myself. I'll still just use this resource to progress on the wall instead, since I can do that. And that's it for year four. Six picks you're gonna be attacking. All right, six picks attacking. I got three, three, and two. I didn't get the temple built, so I don't have any favors to help me out, so. Hoping for the best here. So I got left, got left again. Okay, I don't want to see too many more of those. We got center, right. Okay, this is good. Left, just not another left. It's a right. I survived them all. That's awesome. So I get how much? I get three Valor for that. That is sweet. 
One, two, three. Gets me an extra soldier. And that's just less disdain that I don't have to deal with now. So that's always nice. More rival cards out here, and let's see what my supply is. All right, let's set this over here, grab two cards, let's see what my path is, either filled temples or large buildings. Well, I guess this is the sign that I need to go for filled temples now. So large buildings is a pretty tough one because even I have the large gardens, the temple and the granary, I would still need another large building. And that's just to get two points, I need to build four large buildings. So I'm not doing that. Um, yeah, I guess I will be going for the filled temples a bit more now. This gets me an extra builder and resource, which is also just sweet. And then because of my resource production, I get one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I got my resources. Then because of my hotel, I get a civilian. Because of my workshop, I get a builder. And then I have my road, which I will definitely get some valor this time because of. And with that, yeah, we're on our way with year number five. Yeah, I'm sitting in a pretty good spot, to be honest. I don't want to jinx myself. I want to build the large gardens. I need to at least build a small temple. Maybe that the small temple is a minimum. Maybe the large gardens. Maybe the medium temple. The courthouse should help fill those temples. But I also need to progress the fort more because I need to try to fill out as many cohorts as possible. I need the guard section to go down as possible. So I got some stuff to do. Um, and I think it just starts with me building the small temple. I'm gonna do that very first. So servant, a builder, and what is that? Two resources, two resources. So boom, got a small temple built that gets me a bit of piety. Now, I don't know if I wanna fill it just yet. I might wait a bit on that. Um, I am progressed far enough. I have level five at least, so I can write five and get a servant from the courthouse. Okay, I mean, I'm at a point where I can build the large garden, so I'm just going to do that. Spend the builder, servant, and unfortunately three resources, but that'll get me a lot of good stuff. Gets me some piety, which gets me a servant. I then progress down the trader's track, which gets me nothing. The performer's track, which gets me nothing. The priest track, which gets me a little bit of piety. Then I go down this track, which gets me some discipline. And the bottom track, which gets me a little bit of renown, which actually does get me a civilian. Sweet. So we spend one civilian on the trader's track up here and spend that builder on the fort down there. Because I really want to think about what I want to do. I'll spend another builder here for sure. And that'll get me a bit of discipline, which gets me a builder back and uh, another cohort I can fill in, which I guess I'll just go with the right one just to make him, well, I should probably start trying to fill some actually in. So I'll go with the left one instead. Because I need to try to fill at least two of them in. So I'm not gonna be able to keep them as equal as I'd like, but that's all right. This may not be the best idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And I'm going to use a soldier to do a bit of scouting, which I definitely can do still. I have this like L, um, I mean, I guess I'll place it so I can get I mainly want a resource, but I'll also place it so I can get a servant and a resource. The main thing is I want to spend a builder, a servant, and all of my resources to build the large granary. But I, it's something I need to do at some point. I might as well do it now. Um, and then I will spend both of these soldiers on the wall guard for sure. That'll get me a little bit of discipline. I can spend this builder on the training grounds and I can at least fill in that cohort, which I can do the left one again. And that'll get me some Valor, which gets me a soldier back to do something with. I'll probably send them out on the wall guard again. This seems interesting. So I'm, I'm gonna give this a whirl. So I'll spend these two civilians on the trader's track. First one will get me a bit of renown, which is great and all. The second one will get me a resource, which is really nice. I'll spend that on the wall to get a civilian back. And I will use that civilian down here on the patrician's track to get another soldier. Okay, this is gonna be kinda interesting, I think. So I'll spend both soldiers on the wall guard, right? That'll get me a little bit of discipline. Then I'll do a form with both of these servants. Just 
cross out one of the form, and I will get a civilian back with that. What am I doing with that civilian? Of course I'm putting them down on the patrician's track. Why? Because that gets me renown, gets me another civilian, putting them back on the patrician's track, that gets me a resource, putting that resource on the wall, gets me a cohort, we're not done yet, filling in the left cohort, and that gets me some discipline, down here on the discipline track that gets me a builder. <sighs> now what do I do with this builder? I of course will use this builder then to fill in the temple. That'll get me a little bit of piety and a favor, which should help prevent any crazy picks that feel like ganging up on one side. With that out of the way, that's it for year five. Um, eight picks will be attacking. So I currently have six, three, and two. A little bit lopsided, but I have the favor if stuff really just hits right a lot, but hopefully it won't. And it starts out hitting right. That's such a bad sign. So center, right again. Right is already maxed out. Right has already used up the favor. Right has already broken through. Wow. More right. That's a, that's more, jeez. It couldn't have picked the worst side. If it attacked the other side, it would have been perfectly fine, but oh no. So how, how bad was this? So those all defended, this blocked two, the favor blocked one, so two broke through still. That's bad. That means I'm gonna have to build the bads if I don't wanna have to take a lot of stuff, which is not good. I'm also gonna get two broke through, so I only get one Valor, which is just not good because I really need Valor for that challenge. Oh, this game started out so good, but I don't know, this might not be the one. Like even if I win, I'm gonna probably just be reattempting these forts till I get it with the challenge, so hopefully this is the one, but I get a, a Valor with that. And then I took my Disdain, so yeah, final two rival cards, and seeing what my supply card is for this year. Okay, okay. There's a left card, where was that earlier when I needed it? And then my final two cards, do I remember what these are? It's gonna be Wall and... I forget what the other one is. Scout columns, that's right. Wall, wall sections or scout columns. Um, I do have one scout column completed, but I think I will go with wall sections because I already have two of those done. So that's usually something I like to focus anyway. Scout columns will give me an additional soldier. Then because of my resources, I get one, two, three, four, five. All right, then I get to my civilian because of my hotel, my builder because of my workshop, and then I get to fill in something because of my road, which I'll definitely take Valor because I'm falling behind on that. And that's my second highest track. Like I said, I think Valor and Discipline are the two to focus for this fort. I just, I'm whacking a bit, but there's still one more year. There's a whole year to catch up. So we'll see what happens, but we're on our way with year six. Okay, I did misplay a little bit at the end of last year when I just had one builder left. I was just looking around. Is this a slight misplay? I could have used my courthouse to swap the builder for two servants, swap the servant for builder, filled in the temple with the servant, and then put the builder on the fort. It wouldn't have gotten me really anything more, but I would at least have the fort a bit more progressed, but it will only be one spot, so it's not like a huge deal. So I'll spend a civilian on the priest track, mainly because I need servants. I don't have enough to do anything. I need two to build that, and one to build the medium temple, which I might also try to do this year. I wanted to try to go down the mining and foresting more, I don't know if that's gonna happen. God, I hate that I have to do this, but two servants, a builder, and three resources to build the stupid baths. And I'll spend at least one resource now. Year five, or no, it's year six. I am an idiot. Well, that's, that's a six. And yeah, I'll fill in at least one of my disdain. Maybe I'll do the other one, but the other one's not as important because at least I'm getting the full victory points for this now, but I still will be getting one, I'm taking minus three if I have that. So maybe I should fill in the other one. I'll see how the end of the round looks. Resources are scarce. I still want to try to go down the wall some more. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I haven't used the courthouse yet, so I'll use that to grab a servant. I mean, I don't think I should build the medium temple. It's not worth it because I would only get one victory point for building the temple and then filling it all in. I would have another favor if I were to do that, but even if I were to be able to do that, like... I don't have the resources, I don't think, to do that. So I'm not even gonna really consider that anymore. Okay, I'm gonna send all three of these soldiers onto the wall, oh, the wall guard, sorry. Um, so the first one, I'll be able to fill in a cohort. I'll go with the middle one. 
Second one will fill in the empty spot. Third one will get me a bit of discipline. So then I spend one resource on my sippy, which lets me fill in a cohort. I'll go in with the middle one, which gets me a bit of valor. Put it down here. That gets me a soldier, which I'll go ahead and spend back on the wall guard because that finishes that out. I get another cohort. Of course, I'll go with the center one to finish that. That gets me a bit of discipline down here, which gets me a bit of valor. Okay, it's kind of nice. I think at this point, I'll just go ahead and spend both builders on the fort because I need to try to progress that some and that will get me a civilian to do something with. So then I think I'll spend this civilian on this track to get my last builder, civilian on this track to get another servant. And then I'll use the courthouse both times to swap the builder out for two servants, servant up for a builder, it's a net gain of a servant because then I want to send these three servants to do some mining and foresting. And mainly that'll get my resource production up to six for my quest, which is nice. And also another resource production, which is always nice. Okay, I mean, I think, oh, I can't. Dang it, I was gonna do the baths twice, but I can only do it once. Cause I could do only do max two bribes per year. That sucks. So I'll at least do one more bribe uh, with the baths. I'll fill in another disdain. Two left, I will spend one on the wall for sure. Give me a bit of renown. I mean, at this point, it's not much else I can really do. I guess I'll put it on the sippy and that'll get me another renown, which will get me another victory point. So that's something. Uh, I have another pillar left. I can't fill in any temples. I already used the courthouse. I guess I can just put them on the fort. I can't, yeah, that's all I can really do. It's not gonna do much, but whatever. That is the end of year six, got 10 picks attacking. All right, let's see how this goes. I have six, six, and two, so they're probably all gonna hit right and I'm gonna be mad. Okay, we're starting with center, that's good. Center again, I like that. Right, I hate to see that. Left, good, let's see more left. Perfect, more left, come on. <sighs> I don't wanna see more right. Center, okay. Left, fine. Left, okay. Left, we're good. They only hit the right twice. That's two, four, six, that's 10. Wow, so I get the full four Valor there at the end. I didn't have any favors either, so that's pretty lucky. One, two, three, four. That gets me a bit of discipline. And let's just tally up and see where I'm at. So Renown, I'm at 11. Heidi, I'm at eight. Valor, I'm at 17. Discipline, 18. That will me tally up the ta path cards. 12. 12? All right. I'm only taking minus one point for disdain. All right, let's see what my total is here. So we got 11 plus 8 plus 17 plus 18 plus 12 minus 1 is 65. That is exactly how much I needed at least to get the fort goal for this. So that's that's a win. Wow. I unfortunately did not get enough to do the challenge. So like I did with Fort 3, I'm just going to attempt this off screen enough times to hopefully get the challenge before next time. And, and then we'll be on our way with the next fort. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back next time doing fort number five. So subscribe if you want to catch that. And if you want to see any of my recent videos, click up there in the top right corner of the screen.